Chick nigga around the city, no cap rap news, bruh. We back again, man. Appreciate everybody, man, on the mission to 6,000 subscribers, bro, and I appreciate it. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button, hit that share button, and hit the subscribe button for your boy. Anyway, man, we finna react to, uh, seem like some trouble brewing in the industry over this Kendrick Lamar and Drake shit, and it's coming from podcasters, academics versus Joe Buttons. Let's see what's going on, man. That shit, them niggas taking it harder than um the the characters, the main rappers. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it though. I'm to respond to something too, cause I I seen it, <laughs> I seen it a few places. Hold up a minute, man. Let it's four o'clock. Shit around. I seen Double XL post it, and it's actually a video of my man Joe Button. And Joe Button had a message, and let's see if we could hear what. He says, "Let's let's actually play it." Okay. I got you. Okay, Hold up. Uh, the headline says, "Joe thinks academics should stop reporting news on Drake because it comes off as a mission sent from Drizzy." Also, Ak, Ak, you got to know that any Drake news coming from you looks away now. Yeah, it looks us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ak is the one on stream during the NBA Finals. With the hacker dude on the thing, explaining to him, showing him the invoice, he's dropping names. Like, good journalistic shit you was doing, Act, but you got to know that any Drake news coming from you is viewed through a different type of eye. Even if you just working off your own speculation, Thanks. even if Drake didn't tell you shit, it comes off as a mission sent from Drake. And that could come off like somebody somewhere is trying to get ahead of the Not Like Us video and concert. Mm -hmm. It's back to my earlier point about letting people have their moments. Just get out of the way of that moment. Even if you feel like you didn't lose the vibes, this nigga, fuck this nigga, he's weak, I could get him again, I'm coming back with a track. Let the moment of the forum and the video pass. It's too much to fight. You're gonna look away. Yeah. That's all I have to say on the matter. I don't care about the bot situation. Do you, do you think Drake does anything um, during this? Well, then Ak is saying new Drake music coming soon. Yeah, Drake put the post up about... Shout out to everybody that came out to film the video. And we don't, I don't care, bro. I don't even see nothing that Drake posts no more. It's like Ack is the mouthpiece mm -hmm. for certain things. Was that and that? even if I'm a Drake fan, as a Drake fan, I want Ack to stop announcing things about Drake. The mm -hmm. Ack announcements come with a certain level of expectation. So you either meet it or don't, and then the harsh criticism coming and you're not built for that. Like, the Drake releases are much better as a surprise. Nobody knows. I'm him. Here's a jam to vibe to real quick. Agreed. Anything Facts. with Act reporting it, it just looks away. And that's my man. I hope he knows that. But he wouldn't care because it's a brand builder for him. For sure. Of course. No, it's, it's good business. Keep yeah, yeah, raking in that great paper. Also, okay. uh, I'll respond to this real quick. And Joe is my man. I completely understand what you're saying. Uh, l let me be abundantly clear and very straight with. Hold up. He finna spin it. He finna try to spin it. He finna try to spin it, spin it, spin it. He finna spin the block on there and watch. What I'm saying. And I understand everything is happening, but I also know how I play a part in this whole rap ecosphere. And I've never apologized for any allegiance I've had, any friendships, or any per per perceived biases based on maybe my own personal music taste. True. I give him that. I give him that. Let's lay a few things down. Um, academics has always reported about the biggest artists in the world. Of course, ever since we went through that 2017 wave where the mumble rappers that everybody used to think were underground became mainstream. I've always reported about mainstream artists. I've always reported about that. So if you think I'm going to stop reporting about the biggest artists in the world, you're wrong. Okay? Secondly, I will say this. And this is to, like, everybody in hip-hop media. And I don't know if there's, like, a consortium. And I don't know if there is some type of conspiracy. And I don't know if maybe I'm left out the group chat that everybody seems to be on code with. Um, me, myself, personally, I have zero problem with Rolling Stone, Elliot Wilson, 
Joe Budden, any other person. No cap so, rap I don't news. Care who, even fans. And I think as time goes on, I don't care if y'all say Drake lost. It's fine. That's not the thing. Hold up, hold up. Man, cut it out. We've been saying he lost, and you've been in your feelings the whole damn time, crying and trying to find every excuse, trying to find any kind of gossip you can come up with, bro. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Come on, act, man. Keep it funky, bro. What I've realized is that this ain't even about the battle now. When I hear this the from battle Joe, over. he's echoing what I hear a lot of people are saying to me, but they're not saying stop reporting about they want me to stop saying anything positive about Drake. Oh my god. <laughs> He's still doing it. See what I'm saying? He trying to spin it. Man, ain't nobody get you say anything. We don't want that ain't what he that um, Joe Budden just said. That ain't what nobody say. We just want you to call this shit fair, bro. And speak the truth. Give a fuck about you saying anything positive about Drake, man. We don't care about that shit, man. Come on now, dog. Come I on, understand man. there is a entire now eco structure of people saying let's now push the narrative that this guy who let's say he lost the rap battle but he's done he's done he's a culture vulture he's washed up we have a new king he's gonna be the best ever Drake is gonna go away I understand that's a thing that a lot of people want me to echo that ain't what we want you to echo. We want you to echo that that nigga lost, bro. Come on, man. Come on, dog. Let's go. Sorry. I just I just listen to Kendrick Lamar like once a month. I listen to Drake every day. I'm sorry. I just can't repeat what y'all be saying. So when it's not about when I'm not personally getting back on here trying to have or rehash conversations of the battle. By the way, the whole thing with the with the uh, person who was um, yeah, y'all want to know the truth? I won't call the name. I I tell you the truth though, the dude who came on to expose Kendrick had nothing to do with Drake. That person got referred to me by people who worked with Kendrick. Oh my God! Hundred percent. Come on, academics. Now you're trying to pull it. You're trying to pull a Kendrick team leaking shit, the same shit that, that Drake, um, that they pulled about Drake, bro. Come on, man. This shit too obvious, bro. Kendrick told y'all, niggas, the people are not slow, bro. Come on, academics, you compromise, bro, and just admit it. Everybody see it, bro. And it's obvious, and that shit make it worse when a nigga be, you know, won't even cop, on, cop out to his own bullshit, my nigga. On up to your shit, bro. Fact. Hand, like, I don't swear to nothing, but trust yeah, me. Yeah, I know. The, those people who put me on with that guy, I, I I talked to all parties. They said, please don't mention our name because we do good business with Kendrick. We don't want no problems. I said, I will make sure. I said, that guy won't say y'all name <clears> and <throat> I won't say y'all name. They work with Kendrick. They don't work with with Drake. <laughs> now, I get it. Some people might be believe that's, that, that, that's a play that yeah. Drake put in place or I'm doing that for Drake. You doing it for Drake, my boy. Everybody know it, my nigga. I don't know what what he didn't did to you, what kind of dirt Drake got on you or something, bro, but this shit looking fishy in it light, bro. That shit don't look right. Ain't no watermarks in that bitch when you put it up to the light, bro. That shit is fake. Ain't no little strip in that bitch or nothing. Come on, man. Sorry. <laughs> to keep it real, that timing probably didn't behoove Drake or whatever his... Whatever shit got going on, because people are gonna think it's from him. But I'm sorry if anybody wants to come. Hey, let me t let me just send this little smoke signal to everybody. If you want to come expose the game in terms of people rigging their streams, rigging their concert tickets, rigging anything, you could do that anytime on my stream. I'm at this point the person who I like to knock the lid off of anything. Come on now, cause on when dude was on there, the streamer dude, the first thing you said, uh. Everybody faking streams except Drake. Come on, why would everybody have to fake streams except Drake? Why he excluded from that? Anything else, you include Drake, but on that shit, you want to quickly exclude Drake, get him up out of here. And that bot shit was fake, man. Y'all try to pull any kind of stunt, bro. I don't, I don't like, like that, that shit. shit. For sure, bro. I don't like that shit.
So if you got some real, and by the way, the guy who came on, I had people vet him. People who are in the same business as him. Keep in mind, who did I tell you? Put me with the guy. Anyway, so beyond that, here's my here's my thing. I'm not trying to rehash this battle between Kendrick and Drake. Everybody's going to think what they want to think. You don't even hear me over here running to say, yo, Drake won. I think abundantly, and most people have said that Drake has lost his battle. Okay. Cool. I'll accept public opinion. It's fine. Here's where now I look at it and shit don't look right. Because it's not that wait, there's wait, wait a Drake minute, wait. Around. He said, now nah, he look at it and shit don't look right. We have been looking at it and it ain't look right from the start, bro. Come on, man. Hold up, y'all. My bad, we don't do no edits over here, man. Not no more. Uh-uh. But, uh, yeah, man, come on, man. Now it ain't looking right. We have been peeping your game, man, the whole while. Everybody, bro. It ain't just one, two peepers. Everybody, bro. The same way everybody agreed that this nigga lost, man. Get him out of here. We tired of it, nigga, man. Coach your vulture. Let's go. Now feels like been the exposed. time that every media nigga that Drake done fucked over, Drake that... He ride first. Oh, look, my bad for pausing, man. But, hold on, we gonna run it back a little bit. But he ride for this nigga harder than he was riding for, uh, for boy Lil Boom. When he got caught with that, with the, uh, you know, those allegations, rather. I'm just gonna say that. You know, with those, uh, 69 God allegations he got hit with. He was riding for Drake harder than he is riding for his, his boy boy. You know what I'm saying, nigga, that he was fucking with. Right so let's now. go. Now feels like the time that every media nigga that Drake done fucked over, Drake that done talk shit to, Drake done diss publicly, Drake skipped out on an interview. They're trying to purport the narrative that Drake is in a very fucked up place where, like, his career is done. That ain't what they try to do. They trying to report the narrative that that nigga lost, man. And you trying to report the opposite. For some strange reason, trying to dig up all kind of dirt, say Kendrick and gangs and shit, and just all kind of bullshit, man. Anything you can think of, man. Anything that come your way, you you biting on that shit. That ain't journalistic uh, integrity or whatever they call that shit. I ain't no journalist. I'm just a nigga watching this shit just like y'all, man. So... I don't, it don't count for me. I told you who I'm riding with. Facts. I'm riding with K-Dot from the jump anyway. But let's go. And I'm like, okay, congrats to Kendrick. I like the song. Keep shooting the music video. Pop Out was dope. But Drake's still a guy. What's the problem? I can't, I, I can't do that. Or I got to say, I guarantee if I got on here, which this is what they want. Which he ain't I, I still don't the know guy. why people need me to say, yo, Drake's career is done. I don't think his career is done. I think even if it's going to be accepted in the history of the lexicon of time that Drake has lost this battle and he did lose, which I've said he lost the battle versus Pusha T, I still don't think that does anything to the guy. I don't think so either. Not not in the in the rap world it does. In the pop world, I don't know. I don't even care what's going over there. But he done in his rap shit though. Niggas ain't gonna be fucking with him like that. And his superpowers was neutralized. What Kendrick was meaning by that shit was, like I said before, is that you know his superpower was going and get these young cats that's coming up. The new sound is coming. He'll go get them dudes. Act like he giving them a um a boost or he helping them out. When actuality. They helping him stay relevant. That's what's keeping him, kept him relevant so long. He'll go and bite the new sound or hop on the new sound, whatever coming up, and ride that 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 wave. You see what I'm saying? And keep cruising. He don't ever get old if you keep picking up the new shit. You see what I'm saying? But Kendrick done made that shit now. Even little bitty kids ain't they ain't they don't they don't want no parts of Drake. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't they ain't fucking with Drake like that. Especially rappers, new rappers coming up, young rappers. It ain't it ain't no benefit to him no more because this nigga. It's the freak ass nigga, the 69 guy. I don't nobody want to stay next to that shit. So this nigga out of here. Everybody else in the music industry, all the other artists, turned their back against him. They ain't fucking with him. Makes perfect sense to me. 
And that's what we're trying to get you to understand, academics. This nigga ain't part of the culture. And the reason you fuck with him because you ain't from here. You don't understand this shit either. You ain't from here. You outside looking in just like he is. So that's why y'all stick together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all kind of buddy buddies don't know what the fuck going on. I seen um, the other day he was he was watching the, um, Kendrick pop out. He like, damn, Russell Westbrook, what he doing now? He from, he from L.A.? Oh, yeah, damn. He had to Google that shit. He don't know shit, bro. Is is um D Rosen from LA? He had to Google that shit. Oh shit, damn. You know what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about the culture. That's the fucked up part, man. I don't know. I fuck with academics. I like um his streams, and that's what got me doing this shit, to be honest. I'm gonna keep it funky with you. And I watch him and he funny and he entertaining, but my nigga, you don't know shit about the culture. That's what that's how these that other bullshit slipped in, like little pumps and goddamn uh some of them other little lame little dudes that you let in and gave the platform to, and you know what I'm saying? It was pumping that shit, and you fucked the music business up. You fucked the game up. You see what I'm saying? Letting shit slide. Then here come this nigga, the Canada nigga come over. My bad for being long-winded, but I got to get it out there. The Canada nigga come over. He disrespecting the culture. We don't mind you being in the culture, bro, or, you know, and to the culture, but you come in and try to buy up all the, the, the um, legends, trinkets, and they... They memorabilia and shit. And then you put like you some kind of the dude, you know, the dude that go hunting and put the deer heads on the wall and shit. Like you take that shit back to Canada and say, uh, I took over that rap shit, man. I took or I took that whole shit over the whole, uh, you know, like you some kind of dictator. You running shit. Then you got arrogant and shit, man, and, and got the big head, bro. And, you know, and was shitting on the culture, bro. That's, and you just, you just culturally, um, Slow, man. You don't understand. You'll never understand this shit that true foundational black Americans, you know what I'm saying? I had to uh, shout out to my boy, um, Tariq Nasheed. Um, niggas like us, man, that's actually from America, bro. We we created this shit, my nigga. We ain't finna let these niggas come up. I ain't no more coming and pillaging the village no more. That shit is dead, bro. We ain't going for that shit no more, man. Ain't no more coming taking shit, my nigga. It's our shit, and we gonna ride with Kendrick, and that's what it is, bro. Now get this nigga out of here. He he done on this rap side. Ain't nobody fucking with that shit. The songs he dropped with Sexy Red, that shit was whack. I ain't fuck with that. And then he come right back with that other bullshit. Nope, we ain't fucking with that. You see what I'm saying? It's it's too much lame shit, bro. We ain't we ain't we, the real niggas ain't fucking with it, bro. What I've seen, and this is my personal belief. Thanks. I believe that. We're in a time right now that's desperate for a regime change. And I understand it. We ain't desperate for it. I understand it. I'll give you a quick story. When me and when me and Six Nine were one and two, I'm the media guy, Six Nine's most vile person every day. There were so many people that was just waiting for that era to be over. Like just hey, yo, these niggas get all the attention, they're getting all the clicks, they're getting all the promo. Really, more with 6 9 because they don't care about media like that. And I remember seeing that. Like, I remember other artists' approach. I remember that. Again, I got to pause this shit because he'd be wrong. They ain't worried about just an artist doing his thing. It's that particular artist, that nigga, because he was lying and he was fake and niggas could see through that shit, my nigga, and you was pumping that shit. That was just making that shit bigger and bigger. I get this helping your brand out, but come on, my nigga, you doing that? That's that sucker shit that we talking about. Any kind of shit that come and try to fuck up some shit that niggas really died for um, ancestors and, and goddamn um, older rappers generations. You know, we built that shit up for, for the new generation to be able to benefit off that shit, and then you coming and trying to you and old boy come in and try to fuck that shit up, my nigga, and, you know, pillage the fucking village, man. We ain't with that shit, my nigga. That's it. What I believe is happening right now with Drake is people want the regime change. And I'm going to even, if Drake ever hears this, I'll give him some harsh realities too. Drake, a half of these niggas feel like you've used them, you've lied to them, you're a fuck Thanks. nigga. You... <laughs> Like, they're ready to get you out. This is the dethroning. <laughs> and here's the thing. Kendrick is the most successful person at, at handing you a hip-hop L. Not a gossip L. A hip-hop L. That now, Thanks. the narrative has to 
B, that you are no longer the guy. You have been dethroned and you're out of here. It's a regime change. That's what I keep hearing. <coughs> Again, it ain't about the regime change, bro. It's just the dead nigga corny. I don't know how he slid under the radar so long. Niggas finally got hip to it. He do sucker shit. He go behind niggas' backs. Real, real niggas don't move like that. what I'm saying, man. That shit might fly in Canada, bro. But over here, niggas don't move like that, man. If you do, then you got to expect the consequences that come with that shit. Because real niggas ain't going for it, bro. That's just that. That's, that's basically what it is. Niggas tired of that whole shit, that sucker shit that Drake do. And then the arrogance that he do afterwards, you know, he don't give no fuck about it. He saw it. I can arrogant and you know what I'm saying and, and bougie and shit that he you know I can't be touched I can do what the fuck I want no you can't bitch no slow down no you can't no you can't mm -mm. let's get this nigga out of here man shout out Kendrick let's go now me personally I always tell y'all I operate I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Drake shout music. out Push too yeah I'm cool with him huge fan of his music I don't think that he's dethroned musically, and I don't think that we're having a regime change. Why don't I think that? I don't think beyond, I don't think in six months, Kendrick will be doing a goddamn thing. That nigga will be somewhere on the on the Himalayan mountains just like chilling, like doing some type of hike. See how easy he can say shit about Kendrick. He can say shit about Kendrick easy as hell. When it comes to some shit about Drake, he can't do it. He can't. He won't do it. I just it. don't think he's present enough. I just don't think he has what it takes to continually run hip hop as how someone like Drake did. He's an amazing artist. Clearly, we've just seen with the battle. He could go toe to toe, band for band, bars for bars with anybody in the world. One of He's a fucking genius. <laughs> Copy, please. I think people in hip hop. And I watched him. I feel like they're, they're trying to ago, push he was talking like this like like that. narrative. Damn. And they want everybody to echo it. Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm just sorry to say. Here's the thing. I've always announced if I've gotten an inkling, I've always announced, oh, Drake might do this. Drake might do that. I'm just not going to stop now. I'm just not going to stop now. I'm like, it, it, like, again, if I knew anything, I've always said it. I've been saying new Cardi on the way for the last year. Why? But that's what they're saying. Yeah, you know too much and you always say it. You the mouthpiece that you proven Joe Boy in point. Exactly. He said you the mouthpiece for this nigga. You speaking for this nigga every time you get on this hoe. Ain't nothing wrong. I, like I feel, I know why you're doing to get your views and shit. I get my views too. I do the same goddamn shit. I wouldn't be glizzy riding like that though. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, oh man, my man got some coming. You know what I'm saying? I, I, but, you know, he down bad right now. I'm going to keep it fun. He down bad right now. You know what I'm saying? We got him working out in the corner or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. But I just ain't finna super glizzy ride like you you do, my boy. Pause, 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 pause. I don't like that shit. I'm sure, bro. I don't like Let's that go. shit. Yo, he'll tell me like, yo, act. I'm about to drop before this. Okay, cool. All right, man. I'm going to put that out. I talk to his labels. Labels, I say, yo, y'all got to give me a day. Y'all got to give me a day. His fans is on my ass. They, they be like, yo. It's the album coming for then. I tweet that out. Now, now what I'm realizing is that the hip hop, the rest of the hip hop media, I don't know what Drake did to y'all, but I've had a good time. And by the way, I don't have no problem with Kendrick. You know why? This, this is another thing when it comes to media. Don't y'all realize that I already won? Most of these niggas mentioned me. I don't care. The point is this. Oh, you I'm not, care. Listen, I'm only I'm making a good prediction on my behalf. And my and my prediction is that Kendrick is having a phenomenal moment. He's going to dominate right now. I just don't think Drake's career is done. So when people say I should either stop talking positively about Drake, I should stop making an announcement about Drake, I should No. They never said that. <laughs> no. I never heard fuck? nobody say stop the talking hell? positive about Drake. Come on, boy, you copping, please. I personally think, and this is my reverse, my reverse analysis, 
is that the majority of the media that is purporting it, it's nothing wrong with saying Kendrick is the king and Kendrick is God. It's not wrong. Who cares? Like, yo, he's having this moment. It's another thing where it's like, yo, if a nigga ain't saying that Drake is done, oh, that nigga look like he biased. That's Drake ain't shit. The fuck are we talking about? <laughs> See how he be trying to spin the narrative, bro. Nobody saying that. I hadn't heard nobody on the internet saying that. They say he done in his rap part, in his rap game, though. Niggas ain't fucking with him no more. That part, he might, they say he gonna have, still have, might still have the girls. I don't know why, but he might. But yeah, they want him to go back to making that soft shit. He stay in that lane, it's cool. And singing and doing the Mark 1 and all that bullshit, then, hey, great. But you can't be over here talking about you the best rapper and all that tough rapper, that tough guy shit, man. We don't believe that shit no more. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let's go. I think those people have had personal issues with Drake. And this is one of the reasons I'm glad I never met the nigga, because there's nothing, shit, I, I've cussed him out, he cussed me out. Well, I've told you the ups and downs I have with the nigga. I don't know the nigga. <laughs> I've told y'all, I like Drake the musician, I don't know Drake the man. I don't take it that personal. I love his music, shit. but I don't take it that personal. So whatever he got with y'all, that shit, y'all are man. now pushing forth y'all um, um, agendas to whatever y'all want to say. But, uh, I just don't feel See, it. See, check the words he's using. They pushing their agenda. See what I'm saying? You trying to flip that shit, bro. Nah, you've been pushing the agenda. You still pushing it. You even trying to say Kendrick and a gang and it's all just a gang war and, you know what I'm saying, a gang song and this type shit. Then OVO, OVO Mall come with the bullshit too, talking about uh, everybody dancing to this petty um, anthem. Nah, bro, come on, man. Cut this shit out. Y'all niggas was crying like some hoes caping for this nigga. The whole world told y'all, now y'all see, now y'all don't want to accept defeat, my nigga. Just that plain and simple. I told y'all, niggas, I told y'all. I told you a long time ago, though. I knew he was in for a day, a long day, when K, he, put, he picked that K-Dot shit up. And then was teasing the nigga. Then when it got Pac, that was his biggest mistake, when he did that Pac shit and Snoop shit. Come on, bro. Now it was it was it was kind of clever and it was kind of funny at the same time, but it was a mistake on his part. On his part, you know what I mean, a big mistake on his part. But hey, let's go. I, I'm just I'm also not a nigga who does the yo. This artist and and, and actually, let me bring that up. I guess this is what I want to say because I, I seen another artist say that. No, I see Twenty One say this. If y'all know me, you see when little baby slighted me? I didn't wait till little baby is getting jumped by the whole industry to, to now try to nigga, I put my narrative out now. Nigga, I don't got time for that. That's why I can't respect a lot of the Drake shit. Man, oh, Drake done know. violated all these motherfuckers Come and all on, of them man. kept quiet until it was a collective jumping. Nigga, little baby dissed me at the height of his career, nigga, and immediately. Fuck that nigga. I was on it. I'm not playing around. I don't need, I don't I need agree no with 20 you on that. ones. Nigga, as soon as I seen that, I said, the next 18 months going to be healthy, little baby. I promise you. I don't I don't need all these other niggas to, to, to nigga, I make narratives, nigga. I don't, need, I don't need these niggas to help me. The other niggas didn't need no help either. So again, what you mean? respectfully, I don't want to be a part of y'all Drake is over campaign. He finna say they jumping him now. The 20, 20 versus one bullshit. Come on, that go the narrative again. Niggas ain't team up. Kendrick did that shit by himself. It's, it was Drake and Kendrick. It wasn't um, all the other niggas. Nah, see, you trying, that's just the crowd. It's, if that's the case, it's a million motherfuckers, millions of motherfuckers against Drake. You see what I'm saying? Come on, man, don't try to spin the act. Mm -hmm. We not slow, bro. I still think the guy is good, and I can't wait for the I can't wait for what he finna drop very soon. I'm sorry, <laughs> like I can't wait. Get mad at me if you want. I, I, I don't I don't do the whole. That's all thing I hear. That's all I hear. Okay, all right. Come anyway, on, man. That's my response for that. Uh, uh, we're about he don't do to the whole jumping thing with the media. When everybody's on Diddy, he was on Diddy hard for weeks, 
pause. Nah, no pause. Nah, they ain't even gonna pause that shit. But that that shit, they was on them hard for weeks, months, every day. Did it this, did it that. Anybody, whatever the news. That's I mean, that's what we do. We report on the news, bro. Come on, don't. Why they be trying to spit it, bro? But I fuck with Act, man. I fuck with him still. But when it come to this boy right here in Drizzy, I don't know what the fuck they got going on, man. I don't know. Is you bad at bad at Fulio. We're about to get to Fulio. Don't make sense to Why me. Why is Meek trending? Holy shit. Boost your revenue and drive growth with Google Ads. Reach Why high value customers trending? across the... Mm, what's this? Wait, why is Meek trending? Um, Come on, bro. You're trying to get off the subject. Like, I don't know what's going on with him these days. You, you know a nigga irrelevant when, like, the nigga blocked me. Nigga, I'm not even going out of my way to go look whatever he's putting up. I know. Uh, hold on. It's a Diddy video? What? Oh, Bruh, my God. Just stop, just stop. Yeah, a Diddy video. I ain't okay, seen okay, this okay. shit. All right. <clears throat> Somebody says, Kendrick is milking his beef. Drake changed that brother's life. Uh, somebody else says, Drake couldn't shut up about what he did to Meek after their beef. And the stands mm. were loving it. Now we lost Facts. Kendrick. Apparently a music video is doing too much. Facts. I don't think... Me personally, I don't think that... Um, I don't think that, that Kendrick is doing too much. I think Kendrick's keeping it light. Personally, I think that Kendrick's keeping it light. Yeah, because he, he could be kicking his I, I fucking head is, but he's still shooting the fucking coffin up. What this up. song is turned into. This song, like, I know they're dancing to, to lyrics about him being a quote-unquote pedophile, but, like, this song is a unifier for gangs, which, uh, again, I'm not... The song is just a good-ass... It's a Drake diss is what it is. Don't try to change the fucking narrative of it. It's a unifier for gangs. You think gangs just dance around to, they want to dance around. They've been waiting on a freak ass nigga son to dance around to, bro, and unify. Hey, we can't get together. Nah, nah, fuck. There ain't no truce to the, to the pedophile song come out. When we get a petty anthem, it's up. When we can say freak ass niggas, it's up. Then we can call truce. The bullshit? Come on now, dog. He sounds stupid oh, as hell. I'm saying this song is turned like back to back never became bigger than the Meek known this song. Like if back to back became that shit was just a, a song hit song. That in everybody the club. in Houston, like but no, 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 like back to back was just a diss song. Not like us is a way bigger record than a diss song right now. Like my nigga. Okay, yes. so is what's the dissing? problem? Yes, but the shit we're seeing is not like, and that's what like I'll even check Drake fans because they'll be like, yo. Damn, look how many people are uniting because of one man. No, no. YG, Roddy Rich, DeRozan, and all them other niggas who are ganged up, they're not all linking up because of Drake. The song is turned into a unifier on, or a unification now. song for the West Coast. On, and that is important. Thanks. It's both of them. So we could, we could admit that. So I don't, you know what I mean? The only thing is that I think some people are conflating the two. They're conflating what's happening now. The reason why they're shooting a video in Nickerson Gardens, of course he's gonna gonna have a little these jabs at Drake. He should. The fuck? The whole nigga, song look at is this. Yo, Drake. this nigga, yo, Drake was killing me. Nigga, this might have been been in Philly. Oh, this is the OVO face, never mind. I drove here in a yeah, see, that's why he getting it so bad right now. And he can't handle that shit. And you can't handle it for him. You was, you was, oh, you was teasing this shit up when this shit was popping off, bro. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So you won't catch me saying Kendrick is doing too much. 
But I do believe that the record is just bigger than a diss song. And um It is. You know it's a global that's why it's phenomenon people when they're acting like this is the end of Drake. Yeah, Drake got dissed on the song. I think it ended that battle, but it started a unification wave. Two things can be true if you understand what I'm saying, right? Yeah, but what's the problem with that? Though? All right, is that the only reason why Meek is uh Somebody said, niggas forget when Drake was above Meek's room at the hotel blasting back-to-back -back all night. He had Will Smith at OVO Fest laughing at Meek me memes on stage, and he went to Philly. I remember I went to that. And performed back-to-back. -back. He was wilding. Somebody said, Drake stomped on Meek from 2015 to 2017, and nobody cared about Meek hate. Drake is stomped on for about two months, and niggas are losing it. Please tell me what is about that dude that got y'all acting like this. Hey, listen. Hey, just a I don't know what Drake years. fans are saying or other Drake fans. Let they me, pumpkin let pie me just like say him. This. I am not. I am not the guy who's saying Kendrick is going overboard. I love all this shit. To keep it real, I, I'm actually slightly disappointed because I think that the song is now turned into something else. It ain't about Drake no more. I'm you feel what I'm saying? I just damn the back like, drink, nigga. Kendrick, what you mean? Nigga, I'm not shooting no video in Nickerson Gardens, nigga. I'm shooting the shit at a daycare, nigga. Nigga, I'm calling you a pedophile, nigga. I'm shooting the shit in an elementary school, nigga. Hey, don't worry. That's what I'm saying. You know who who happened to shoot that shit? That's Dave Free, man. That shit gonna be hard. They got I know they gonna do him bad in that video. You know what I'm saying? You just seeing all of the shit that you see in that's just one little scene. Them just in shot the treatment that shit gonna be five five camera angles on this nigga it's gonna be hard it's gonna be super hard that's the part i'm waiting on okay, i'm gonna really get at you nigga i'm gonna have gonna a really Adonis get at him watch. That bit. like that's just me so i'm just telling you i don't mind what, what, what kendrick doing y'all know i like all that shit y'all know i like all that shit i do love the fuck shit So I'm, I just want people to call it what it is. Right now, the way this song is moving what? is because it's finally, it's giving pulse to a coast that's been kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bitch, everybody all over the world is playing this shit that ain't even on that coast. What the fuck is you talking about? That ain't got nothing to do with it. That's even, that's even better. It's what, and that's part of the culture. That's what I'm saying. It's Juneteenth, my nigga. You don't understand that shit. You wouldn't, you wouldn't understand it. You don't care about it, just like the other foreigner. They don't, y'all don't care about this shit, man. We doing this shit for for the the soya, bro. The whole U.S., not including Canada. <laughs> Hell no, nah. this the South, the West, the East Coast. Like what the fuck, like all nigga, that like, shit, nigga. Yo, this is what people are not gonna gonna admit, bro. Nickerson Gardens and a bunch of gang members linking up got nothing to do with Drake. It got nothing to do with Drake. Who, who said it did? Drake wasn't there when y'all mans was killing each other. No, Drake was not there. If this was solely about Drake, nigga, you'd have a Canadian flag in the background, a nigga in a wheelchair like wheelchair Jimmy trying to holler at a toddler. Like, nigga, that's how you really get at that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. Cop and please, okay. still. Uh I know that you gotta be a thought for the same what she meant when she Drake, you kinda gotta hold it right now, bro. Pause. <laughs> Told you to open up more. Yeah. Nah, you gotta die. He was wildin' though. He was wildin' that nigga Meek. Yeah, you get body by singing nigga. Yo, you know what's so crazy? Drake beef with nah, me killed his career Twitter. and brought that nigga back. That nigga is now vegan, bro. That nigga do not. That nigga is lactose intolerant. Oh that nigga does. Yo, he, nigga, the closest thing he came to speaking on this battle was dropping some whack ass song called 5 a.m. in Philly. Like, no, nigga, we don't care what time it is in Philly, nigga. What time was it when Drake dissed you, nigga? Where were you at? Tell us about that. Okay. So, you know, uh, um,. Yeah, nah, Drake wilded on him and Kendrick, nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, yo, Drake fans, can we can we just admit this? Bro, if Drake had killed, like, let's say Drake by popular vote, right? Because I, I, I'll i admit, I think by popular vote at this point, people are saying that. What Drake else can you go by? If Drake won by popular vote, oh my sweet Jesus. Nigga, you know that Drake 
Drake is the pettiest motherfucker alive, nigga. That right. nigga would have tried to buy, buy Kendrick Lamar's childhood house. He would have probably sent, like, Whitney's sister, like, $30,000. And you'll be caping even extra, extra hard for this nigga. You'll be going crazy every day. It'll be a stream about Drake or how Kendrick lost, man. Come on. And you'll be forcing, saying the same shit that nigga saying about you. Why they just want to admit that, that Drake won and Kendrick lost? Why they just want to admit it? Why they want, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You know, Come Drake on, is petty as fuck. Nigga, Drake would have dragged this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Drake would have definitely not been like, oh, I'm done. No. Drake would have dragged this. So when Kendrick is dragging it, I'm like, all right, gang. Like, you gotta keep the same energy, people. We do gotta keep the same energy. <laughs> we you gotta. gotta. Keep the same you got no choice. <laughs> you don't think so? Got no other choice, my boy. Yeah, I think about popular vote got it. All right, cool. We're, we're about to talk about Fulio in like uh, one second. He said about popular vote. I mean, what other how what other matrix can you go off of? If you're trying to go off numbers, we don't believe that shit. This this Drake numbers just as fake as everybody else's numbers, bro. Come on, man. And everybody know that shit, bro. They just got even more money. They can buy even bigger goddamn bots, more bots. You see what I'm saying? They just keep flipping that shit. Come on, man. That's the game, bro. Everybody know that's the game, man. But you made it away. Uh, yo, yo, um, made it, made it your uh, purpose to say everybody's uh, buying fake streams except Drake. And then here come the other dude. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know about. I never heard of Drake buying fake views. Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. You ain't gonna hear about. It. He ain't doing it. The team is doing it. Come on, man. Read these donations. Um, I am baby boy Jody says, actually, gotta check your email, bro. I sent you something. Uh, if you want to help Drake, check it out. Please, not for me, for Drake. <laughs> Yo, could y'all also stop saying this to me? Like, mm -hmm. could y'all stop thinking that Drake is in like some crisis mode? He is. That like Drake is just like sitting back, like, what could I do to stop this? Bro, I've told y'all what I honestly think already. I think Drake should just wait like three weeks or like a month, drop like from a month from now. I think the only way, the way you get out of this is to make good music. That's always been the solution. Come with some good shit. I know he's dropping some with Camila Cabello very soon, but. Who the fuck is that? I don't care how hot that is. That ain't going to be the thing. Bro, just drop some good music. Get back popping and shit. They're going to try to That's drop it. some shit with 21 Get something or that we some all singing shit. again. Like if Drake, had, if Drake had a, say he had a mm. Jimmy Cooks up his, his sleeve right now and he dropped that. I'm not saying you should drop right now because, you know, it feels like it's a response if you drop right now. You wait three weeks a month, he drops a song like Jimmy Cook's. Like, bro, I'm telling you, niggas are, niggas don't give a fuck. Like, this is what I'm, I'm just watching. Hit the like, same like, no these more, niggas bro. try to, like, make it. Like, I just don't give a fuck how much DJ Head is over there, like, acting like this is some, my nigga, this absolutely means nothing, nigga, Right? Drake is going to be fine, and Kendrick is doing amazing. Also, Kendrick winning don't mean the West Coast one. You ain't winning either. <laughs> Just like, yo, that's why when y'all tell me I lose, I'm like, nigga, Facts I'm the biggest winner in the beef. <laughs> nigga, nobody win more than me. The fuck are y'all talking about? The niggas be like, yo, y'all losing. Who? Nigga, I'm not losing. Nigga, I'm winning. The fuck are you talking about? Relax. This is not sports. The fuck? Yes, it is. It's blood sport, man. Ain't right. rap his blood sport. So anyway, if you if you're like oh you see what I'm saying, he don't understand this shit, bro. He don't he 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 didn't understand rap when he got into this shit. You can tell by the type of, of music and the shit that he listened to, man. You know he ain't he ain't of the culture, bro. Either, and that's the problem. Neither one of them, and they don't understand that shit, and they don't get they don't even get you know why people reacting how they reacting. You know what I'm saying? I oh, don't know, man. Gotta send something to Drake. That, Real no. ones know what I mean. Let that nigga take some time, drop his music. Like, even right now, I don't even want to talk to the dude. I don't even want to talk to Drake. You know I don't want to talk to Drake? Bro, get your mind right, make some music. That's it. Like, there's no strategizing no more. Come there's no now, fucking no. plan. Just get some, bring some music. <laughs> you make some hot music, drop it at the right time. Niggas, like, niggas will forget about this. That's what <laughs> always happens. 
I heard that. Bro, you, do y'all remember, like, a few months ago, we were talking about, like, Meg Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj diss tracks against each other. Bruh, we actually forgot that it should even happen. It's okay. No, we ain't. All right, all right, all right, okay, all right. We don't need to be dragging it too much. Okay. Um, Nicki dropped some bullshit and niggas wasn't feeling it. We got to get to the Folio stuff. Just give me one second. Anything else uh, do we have to address? Anything about Kendrick? Oh, Drake did post something. I hate that I kind of got to put them up, uh, uh, kind of like juxtaposed to each other, right? But Drake wished Chubbs a happy birthday. He said, more life, capo. Plenty love in the family to go around and just wait till that That's other nigga shit with the comes weird back case, around, man. okay? But he's That's, still talking shit. I don't know what he's talking about, but yeah, you do. wishing his man a happy yeah, you do. birthday, all right? And I think that's about it. it. Wait, I think he had posted some other shit. <laughs> some moho shit Did that he niggas post don't care about. After the pop out thing. See how he tried to play a, oblivious to shit. He knew it because he posted the shit on his page. Come on, man. You don't be fooling nobody, academics, with that. Try to play naive shit when you already be knowing what's, what's the business. Yeah, he posted uh, this picture, Summer League. Man, I don't even know why Drake being crypt cryptic, bro. Like, <laughs> I think Drake is trolling y'all because he definitely knows what y'all gonna say, right? Like, he ain't trolling you know, nobody, you, bro. Either you're in your feelings or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, the point is this: it's no surprise Drake gonna drop music for the summer. Get over it, all right? If you like, it, you like it. If you don't, you know when I actually have a good, uh, a reasonable conversation about all this. If whatever Drake is gonna drop in the next. Let me just say, because I don't want to give y'all no time. It, whatever Drake is going to drop in the next, let's say, oh, we're already at halfway of the year. For the rest of the year. Yes, good. Whatever Drake drops for the rest of the year, if none of them shits hit, if none of them shits resonate, if none of them shits make no noise, if none of them shits do what we normally see Drake do on the charts, we could have that conversation. I think that, that would be very reasonable to have that conversation that, hey, I think Drake, um, we got him. Drake's status in the game has been affected. Right? We got him. You're gonna a, see. Very valid point at that point. Oh. But all right, y'all, man. That's it, bro. I don't know, man. Academics is biased towards towards Drake. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense. I'm biased with Kendrick. You know, you pick your team, you ride with your team, win or lose. But you gotta call that shit when they lost, bro. It's a loss, my nigga. Everybody saw it. The niggas at the Super Bowl don't say the other team won and they didn't win. The whole world saw what the fuck happened. You feel me? Tig need to run the city, no cap rap news. Man, hold up, man. God damn, I be forgetting, bro. I gotta tell y'all niggas some shit, man. Be forgetting. Let me see if it'll work. Hell no. Nah. Don't even worry about it, man. Y'all hit the like button, hit the share button. OBS be tripping. Come back, holler at your boy, man. Tignity run the city, no cap rap news. Peace.